It is madness. Look at this. All of these people here to see Dracula's castle, Castle Bran. They would make you sit in this chair naked and hit you with sticks to make you give information. I would tell right away. Right away. Well, I got the shepherd's pie. I think they call it Guinness pie here. It is so good. I love me some Irish bread. We are Sammy and Tommy, and we're currently in Bucharest, Romania. In our last video, we took a 10-hour train ride from Sofia, Bulgaria to the capital of Romania. We spent our first day exploring this massive city and witnessed why it has the nickname Little Paris. This is the cutest bookstore ever. I love it. Today, we are so excited to be starting our two-week Romanian road trip, and our first stop is Castle Brand. What's up, you guys? All right, so today we got a car rental for the next two weeks. We're finally back on the road we are. in our own vehicle. We're so excited. So we left Bucharest this morning, went to the airport, got our new car here. Today is super exciting. Actually, the whole next two weeks are supposed to be super fun. Today we are exploring two different castles. Our first stop here. This is the first castle we're gonna go check out. It's called Euluia Hasdu Castle. I think I could be pronouncing that wrong. It was built by this intellectual. He had a daughter, him and his daughter, very close. She was like a genius and she died of tuberculosis at the age of 19. So he built this castle in her honor and really she cool. helped him build it by like contacting him in like they said like spouts of spiritism and like told him the plans and then he built it. We also read that it's haunted actually. Yeah, it has some crazy stories along with it, but we're gonna go check it out now. Side note, we just learned today it's Monday. Most things in Romania are closed on Mondays, including the castles. We might not be able to get in, but we'll go look at the grounds and then on to the next one. The gate is closed. We can't go in the courtyard or inside. Looks like it's actually a museum now. It's time to go get some lunch and then head on to the next castle. Are we going to the next castle or are we going to our Airbnb first? Airbnb. We're gonna go to the air, Airbnb. I, actually, we'll see how it goes. Cut, matter. cut it. We don't know what we're doing. Goodbye, castle that we could not see. <laughs> well, that's a cool building. We are heading to Castle Bran, which is Dracula's castle. We are super psyched. Bran's castle is said to be like the inspiration for Dracula. I think that's pretty much the only tie that it's gonna have to like the story. Everything online has said that the castle is just like in perfect condition, fully furnished, and that once you're there, you can't distinguish any ties to Dracula, but it's just where the author got his inspiration to write the character and the book. It is weird though that the author is actually Irish. He never 
visited Romania to actually see the castle. People are assuming he saw pictures and that's where the inspiration came from. Interesting. Who knew? It's just really cool to go see a fully furnished 16th century castle. <laughs> Mariana get the guy on the horse. A young kid was selling berries on the side of the street. We were stopped, he came up to our car, and they're all super fresh. For two bucks, we got a little bowl full of blackberries, raspberries, blueberries. They are delicious. We see the castle. This place is a zoo right now. You guys know that we love getting to places right at the crack of dawn. This place it closes in an hour, so we thought we'd be Whoa, doing it the other way around. There's cars honking, people crossing the street. It is madness. Look at this. All of these people here to see Dracula's castle, castle brand. Gotta find parking, okay. We are walking up to the castle now. Every single tourist in Romania is here right now. widely used form of torture. They would get strapped in and stretched out and then these spikes would just get rolled across their body underneath them. Just rolled across our body. Alright, so we just explored the torture chamber part of it. Mm -hmm. Wait, it's called the blood. 
10 extra lay, $2.50 to get in this part of the castle. We're the only two people in this part of the castle and you guys saw the chaos. Definitely worth it. The it's chaos. It's very interesting, really. This is the best part of but very cool. Yeah, it's very disturbing. Don't bring your kids, probably, but... Yeah, we saw some little kids in here were like, It's crazy. just nice to be able to read the... Honestly, to be able to read the plaques with nobody in here. And we I can't even show you the pictures because they're so gruesome. Yeah, the, these won't even make it because it's disturbing. But it is nice to explore and be on our own and be able to breathe some air. Alright, we just finished our tour of the castle. It was very cool, very busy. My suggestion would be to get here, be one of the last people to enter. The last entrant is at 6 p.m. But, but they you can... let you explore until 7.30. So if you're the last ones in the door, that's the hack. Which was our plan. If somebody was a little more patient, it would have been perfect. I'm not patient, so whoops. <laughs> But yeah, at the end, it was not crowded at all. Check it out, especially the outside. So we're gonna try to show you guys what it looks like from the outside now. So we just left Castle Brand. We are heading to our new Airbnb now. It's about a 45 minute drive and we're staying in the town of Bradshaw. So it is a fortified Saxon village. We're excited to get there and check it out. That's it. Oh, traffic's going. We're going. The camera's gonna fall off. All right, so we got lucky. Our Airbnb host told us about a couple free spots. So we drove around a couple times and we found a spot. So now we gotta find our place. All right, we made it into our Airbnb. Our host was amazing. He went through the map with us for like a half an hour, recommending all the places to see and the places to eat. And the first one he recommended, which is right across from our place, is actually an Irish pub. And I can never turn down an Irish pub. I love the decor. We're kind of in the basement. And they have a whole Irish menu. So we're gonna get some Guinness, eat dinner. Salud to a great day in Romania. <laughs> so I got the shepherd's pie. I think they call it Guinness pie here. And it is so good. I love me some Irish pubs. It's early morning tomorrow, so we'll see you suckers in the morning. A three, a two, and a Right? Mm -hmm. It's Eli, Eli, Eli. Oh. Make us some sandwiches for the road. Ooh, this bread looks so good. Yum. Mm hmm. Wow. make the sandwiches. Mm -hmm. We're taking a left here, all the way around. And yeah, it's supposed to be like a 16th century castle, but not like castles we are used to going to. Oh, this ride's getting a little rough. Stop us now. Club. You don't have to go, but you can't stay. Falling down. 